ladies and gentlemen, in all the years I've been on this earth, I have never ever experienced a sunburn, nor do I wear sunscreen. And quite frankly, I love the sun. I love the way the sun feels on my skin. Give me all the UV rays that you don't want, okay? But we're going to let the people that get the most sunburn explain what it's like and what happens to their skin during a sunburn. Summer, you forget to put on the sunscreen and maybe you turn into a lobster and can't stand anything that even remotely rubs against you. What happens when you get a sunburn? It's a good question. Here's Heather Brown. Tell me about your worst sunburn. It was one time I went to Valley Fair. We went out kayaking that day. Probably in Arizona. They aren't easy to forget. Then my thighs were like bright like lobsters for a week or two. And I couldn't like sit down or like lean up against anything. I think I had to put aloe on every day for about two weeks. Yeah, it was really bad. Is your skin actually burning? Yes, it is actually burning. Dr. Aaron Luxemburg is a dermatologist. When your skin is turning tan, that's your cells mutating and it's a cry for help. Sunlight is made up of all different radiations. There's the visible kind, so we can see the sun, the infrared, which gives us heat, and the ultraviolet or UV that causes the burn. When those UV rays hit, the melanin or pigment in our skin tries to protect us. It's that melanin. Melanin, not melatonin, that helps you sleep. <laughs> but our melanin can't protect us from all the UV rays. So when the UV penetrates our skin cells, we tan. That's your skin saying, help, I'm getting radiated. And it's actually changing their DNA. Every time they're mutated, there's a chance that they might mutate towards a cancer. A burn is a more aggressive version of a tan. We look like lobsters. That night, I kid you not, it was about the same color as this red. Because the blood rushes to the burn to try to fix the damage we've done. It stung. The wind hurt. It's, it's extreme inflammation happening. So what, what SPF are we wearing today? I think I have 50, uh, 30. I know I got about an hour. 15 here, but I did 55 on my face. Heather Brown. So there have been some lessons learned. <laughs> WCCO for the news. Wow. Ooh, got to be careful. That sure looks painful. Hot epidermis. The <laughs> healing guy did not look good Ooh. on his back. Ooh, man, I tell you what, I wouldn't want to trade places with you. But let's have some fun. White skin contains precious little melanin, the body's natural protection against the sun. So whenever you're outside, you need to apply a sunscreen like UV to reflect away harmful rays. We got loads of melanin! <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what we feel like, <laughs> especially when we see them all burnt up. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on that notification bell. And ladies and gentlemen, my melanated brothers and sisters, go out and take those rays in every chance you can get. Peace, family.